Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Alex Strasse of all heroes, showing off a go to five very quickly line, effectively just normal curve, just straight to five, and why Alex is a very reasonable mid-range hero. Basically the ability to level to five and stabilize quickly gives you the option of either A, you high roll from your boxes and you go to the moon, or B, you just kind of take average mid-game stuff and stabilize and play for tempo. Really, both lines are very good, and if you can find an Adina in the middle of the game, you are just a powerhouse, especially with those early Chroma Wings, being able to basically turn a one-star into a Divine Shield Poisonous Minion. Hmm, turns out that's pretty good. And if you can go to six and you can find Calicos, you know where this is going. Dragons is really one-dimensional. It still works, but it's just a lot harder to pull off in this current meta. All right, enjoy. I'm trying to set you guys up to be like, Bofer, please play dating simulators. Razor Gore's good. This is very blue, but none of them are Calicos. Mm, Terracos is okay. Cobalt's okay. Maybe we can just go to six. Like, our board is reasonably strong. Zephyr's got a Nomi. True. Any mods in chat? I've got a question I need answered. Just yell mods repeatedly. I'm sure they'll look. Um, if we're going to stay on five, I think I'd rather have Terracosa. But I oftentimes like to go to six next turn. I can get out of these two. I can get out of this too, if we wanted to. Level, sell here and then there. I'm an angry man child. I mean, me too, to a degree. Have you even banned bots? Yeah, a couple of my mods, Keo, early on, took care of a lot of the well-known bots and has done it a couple times since. I've done a couple small passes. Yo, Kalisk, thank you so much for the two months. How are you enjoying the meta? Um, Overall, I like it. I like the amount of choices that are in the game. I like the late game pivots. I think that the meta will be boring soon some people are bored already but i think every meta eventually ends up in this kind of position and this one's no exception that buddy meta was fun for like 500 games and then the last thousand games were just resident sleeper because it got so solved and i think the majority of people that really like buddy meta just never got to that many games played but like you casually play the game, you're going to enjoy a meta for longer. And that one felt different. And they never got to that saturation point. The people that played the game even more and more and more. I think that there are two categories of people, actually, that really want buddies to be back. Number one are casual players. And number two are content creators, like the big streamer content creators that cater to a more casual audience. The less time people watch, the more they they valued buddies because it was a different thing and it felt like you were always watching a little bit different of a thing. Now, don't get me, don't get me wrong. Tyler played buddy meta so much and he still wants buddies back. Yeah, he falls into that category. 
the people that have a larger demographic of more casual viewers. RDU falls in that same category. Crypt falls in that same category. When you have very large audiences, you have a lot more viewers that watch like 30 minutes a day than people that watch an hour and a half, two hours a day. That the more casual the player, the more casual the audience, the less time spent out the game, the more that trends toward, toward liking buddies. Because you just haven't gotten to a point that you saturated the number of games you saw and played to get to the point like, oh my god, this is the same thing literally every game. And it's not that like it's better or worse. It is just, it's repetitive. And having variety, personally, I think makes the game a lot better. All right, well, we minimized damage. We didn't take 15 here. You'll love to see it. We're still at 41 health going to six, by the way. We'll just find Nadina. Don't worry about it. Or know me. Uh, no. This is a pair. Uh, no. Presters. No mech lobby. One divine shield and manted. Literally the only shields in the game. We're not going to stop for that. Oh shit. It's a golden Razor Gore. Nadina. Not Nadina. Why is it never Nadina? <laughs> Still like Calicus. Cali is still good. We got a goose. I'd much rather have Nadina than Calicus. We have three big dragons already. That I'd rather play Nadina plus these three and then just go get Mantids. Or something like that. Because then you're just strong now and you have a reasonable line to get first place. This is weak now and a good line to get first place, but we have to survive. Can you get Calicus from Hero Power? Yes, you can. You should be able to get Amalgadon too. Ah, reverse psychology doesn't work. A Valiant Attempt? Thanks, dude. Eek! Gross. Disgusting. Boo. 14% to kill him. 40% to lose. Which one do you think we'll hit today? Eh. We'll keep the pair on the board for a turn. Cute. I like it, but I don't like it enough. Right. It's basically a board that you don't roll. And it's a fine thing if we had another cycle spot. Really like to get a, this triple. Really like Nadina. Nadina's the hit, still, at this point in the game. We know the audience that you're talking about. If we can avoid that, then you can kind of suggest whatever you want. If, if it's somebody I don't want to raid, then I'll just give you your points back too. Not a big deal. Okay, we huge against this guy. Huge. Every stream, we just raid XQC. Exactly. We're trying to avoid the XQCs. Just, just doesn't seem like the same demographic. Wait, where are the otters stream? Uh, Marine Mammal Rescue, all one word, on Twitch. Is a stream that is a Canadian aquarium or zoo that has an otter rescue. Marine Mammal Rescue is, is what it is on Twitch. You could dig further than that. Meh. Triple. This is totally Nadina. Why is it never Nadina? I keep being lied to. At one one point it's gonna be Nadina. 
Yeah, I think I won't, but like, I see you there. Hey, Bofer, can I play? Hmm, no. No, no. No. Shout out Marine Mammal Rescue. I, is that all one word? I don't remember. Thanks, no problem, dude. Nadina is in the snake. Oh, it's inside the snake. But integrating that into my philosophy, the throwing at is. All right. Can we kill the Baron? Can we do it, chat? No, let's let him get all the value. <laughs> As we throw one ones at this, the game. Good hustle. Good hustle, little rat. We literally have not had a shot to hit the Baron yet. Because of the, the coiler buffs. Yo, this one. I mean, that wasn't bad, because that's the end of the, the leaps. This one? That was the worst target. Okay. So be it. Yep, that's about right. That is today. At least we didn't die on a zero percenter. At least it isn't death. Got a ghoul, I guess. Could be Presters, but is it really better? Against Elementals? Probably not. He dictates initiative. Could argue that the play is just take Chroma Wing because Nadina's that important. I was hoping to get like Alley Cat or whatever and I could cycle it with the open board spot. Naturally. Bobby. The fuck is my Nadina. Alright, whatever. They're in the snakes. Alright? You just gotta have faith. The Nadinas are in the snakes. It's going to be Nadina and then Ghoul right afterwards. Just watch. That's what's going to happen. We're going to get excited and then it's just going to... That's what's going to happen. 100% guarantee. Nadina straight in the snake. Or it's going to be like double Ghoul and then Leroy behind it. Dude, one Nadina and we win this lobby so easily. We're stronger than this guy. We're stronger than this guy. One time Nadina, and it's just easy clap. This didn't cleave into the dragons. Never Nadina. That was a pretty good hit. That was acceptable. We got there. We won the coin flip. Woo. My God, this day is so hard. <laughs> where is Nadina? <laughs> Mod check, where is Nadina? Why is there never Nadina? So what did we get out of Calicos? We committed like three turns worth of resources so that we could make a 2446 and like, buff these things like 2020 like imagine just having nadina and rolling for mantid and shit how much better your board's gonna be oh let's reborn the coiler too that'll that'll really bring it home nadina nadina 
Nadina. This hero's already busted enough. So strong. Nadina's in the next game? Oh, okay. Thanks, bruh. Bezos bucks make everything better. Alright. No Nadina. Quiller and Ghoul are both stronger, right? And on Leroy? Yeah. Yo, Mizula with the seven months. Damn, dude. Thank you so much for the resub. X, it's EJ with the six months just a few minutes ago. Thank you for the prime sub as well. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good thing you got that genie out of the coiler. It's nice to have it, but like, at least we won the coin flip. I, we can't complain. We got a coin flip there. May have avoided lethaling this guy. But this one is reasonable. We were strong and healthy going to five, went to six immediately. Sure, we never found Nadina, so we don't win the lobby. But like, very reasonable Alex Strasser game. Oh, look, Mantids. You know what's good against Mantids? Gas Coilers. Dude, this combination of songs is, is something else. Leroy! Lil Rag! Nadina! It's everywhere. <laughs> Just gotta do this like three more times. I mean, Nadina's gonna make this real strong. He can't really counter Nadina. Just gotta get Nadina. Where are you, bro? We need you. Stats are fairly irrelevant, except for this. Nadina. Nadina. All right, there's absolutely no way Nadina's on the next board. Okay. Okay, let's try again. Here, Nadina, Nadina, Nadina. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Good shit right there. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. You just gotta, gotta like, bring out the fancy feast. Oh, it's beautiful. We found her? I think we roll. <laughs> All right. There's a mantid on the board. So we take out here. We need ghoul still. There are three mantids on his board. It's a three out of seven chance at a mantid. That's a mantid. I'm not sure it's better than anything on this board. Leroy's obviously very strong. Nadina will be replaced by Zap instead. Oh, Jesus. So a Divine Shield 2648 versus Manted. Coiler's gonna stay. It'll bring a ghoul after Nadina goes off just to shoot us down, you know? Ouch. I don't like that hit. All right, real quick, just want to complain a little bit. Real quick, ghoul. Oh, look, another Nadina. Real quick, ghoul. Okay. At least this thing is large. A large enough? Oh, large enough now. All right, we only have to do it one-ish more time. We're bringing it back. Oh, shit, man. Slowly. Softly. This is how life is taken. Some days do feel very darkest dungeon. 
esque. Hmm. You ever like taunting Leroy here? Kind of like taunting Leroy here. We could taunt Nadina and then play Presters behind it and get rid of Ghoul. Doesn't seem worthwhile. worth more macaw or mantid here probably macaw right it's a little bit awkward in the sense that like he can kill this and then we kill the ghoul and he hits past he did not Look at that macaw value. It's basically an Adina, and on top of that, kills the minion. Ooh, you do love to see it. You just do. And he left. Aw. We brought back the Alexstrasza game. You love how the narrator lines have spilled over from other games? Yeah. Darkest Dungeon has a lot of good lines. Hey, we got a dub. Dragons. Let's go again.